Hi all, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Courtney Pure, and I'm an animator and developer. Today, I'm going to walk through how I created this dock animation using no keyframes. This is a cool technique I learned from the book After Effects, The Power of Expressions by Francois Lefebvre. Let's get started. So what we're going to be doing is using distance between two objects to create an automated reaction. For the sake of showing you the end result, I did export this using four keyframes. But as you'll see later in the video, you don't need keyframes in order for this reaction to occur. So this is the end result. Okay, so starting off, I'm going to set up my composition. Just as a note, this tutorial is for folks that are fairly familiar with After Effects and know their way around. It's definitely a kind of intermediate to advanced level of tutorials, so I'm gonna go through setting up my project file rather quickly, and um, on screen I'll leave the specs of my composition. To start off, I'm going to create a square, and I'm going to size it to 80 by 80 pixels. And I'm going to set the anchor point to the bottom left corner, and name the layer original. I have imported an image of a cursor, but you can use or make any object you want. It will all work the same in the end. And I will drag this into my timeline and name the layer cursor. We're going to write an expression that measures the distance between these two points. The first point we have is our app icon and the other point is our cursor. As the cursor gets closer to the app icon, the icon will grow bigger. We're going to write this expression in the scale property of the original layer we created earlier, since this is how we're going to magnify the icon. This technique takes three lines of code. So the first line we're gonna write is cursor equals this comp dot layer and the layer we're writing in is cursor, dot position. And we're gonna close it out with a semicolon. So basically with this line of code, we created a variable called cursor. And we assigned this variable the position property of the layer named cursor. Next, we're gonna create a, another variable to get the distance between the cursor and the original layer. And we can do that by using the length method. So right underneath that first line, we're going to write x equals length. And the length property takes two arguments. So we're going to have an open and close parentheses. And inside, we're going to write position, comma, cursor. And we're going to end that statement with a semicolon. So. Basically what we did is create another variable called x, and we use the length method to calculate the distance between the two layers. So position is in reference to this layer's position, which is the original layer that we're on. And then cursor is the variable that we created earlier that holds the position of the cursor layer. Now this is where it gets a little bit tricky the variable x that we just created will produce a single number value. The scale property produces an array of two number values. So to use this information, we need to create one last statement that will basically use this information to increase and decrease the scale of this layer using the distance between the two objects, which we have defined. This is where the linear method comes in. This method can be written in two ways either with three arguments, which consists of a variable and two values, or five arguments, which consists of a variable, variable min, variable max, and two values. If you use the three argument uh, method, basically, since you don't declare a variable min or max, it will automatically default to zero and one. So in this case, we're going to use five arguments and the last line of code that we're going to write right underneath our X variable is linear, open parentheses and close parentheses. And we're, our first argument, it's going to be X, 
comma, zero, comma, 300, comma, then we're gonna have square brackets to create a, a, an array. And inside we're gonna write 200, comma, 200. Then our last uh, argument that we're gonna have is another array. So comma, square brackets, and then we're gonna write 100, comma, 100. And to close out this statement, we're gonna end it with a semicolon. So let's break down the first three arguments that we have here. We have x, 0, and 300. x, as stated earlier, that's the variable that we created, is the distance between the cursor and the icon. Next, we declared the input values. So for 0, that's going to be our minimum input value. And 300 will be our maximum input value. When the distance is at zero, so when the cursor is basically right on top of the icon, the icon will scale up to 200% by 200%. So it's gonna double in size. When the distance between these two objects are 300 pixels or more, it will shrink back down to its regular 100% by 100% size. And there you go, the three lines of code that will create this reaction-based behavior. So if you wanna give this a go, the code is written down in the description below. Now this is only just between the two objects that we have here, the icon and the cursor. Uh, but if you want to continue making a full doc, you can continue on to part two, which is linked here in the video. Just a quick reminder, if you like this tutorial, please consider giving it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.